Angula Johannes, who works as a truck driver, lives with his family of six in a makeshift home that goes by many names. A ghetto, a mbashu, and more commonly, a shack. In the absence of basic municipal services such as sanitation, he collects drinking and bathing water from a communal tap a kilometer away from his home. The reason I came to leave this side is because the, the, the rent, they are very expensive, like suburb. You see, they are very expensive and the road road, the rent roads, they are not that friendly. When you are at work, you miss that, up that payment, you can get your, your thing, uh, your stuff out of the, in the street, you see. So that's what happened even to me myself. That's why I end up here. Silvertown is the name given to the sprawling network of shacks on the outskirts of Vintok. These shacks accommodate roughly 70,000 households, which translates to 300,000 people. It is a consequence of homes being inaccessible to the majority because of the high cost of housing, bonds and rent. However, the Shack Dwellers Federation of Namibia is trying to pull together funding in order to address the housing crisis. It says it has built 2,385 homes for its 30,000 members countrywide in the last five years. The Federation is building the houses that are affordable to their members. The members are involved in constructing the houses to cut the cost. And at the same time, we learn our members to put a dollar aside for them to save so that they can build their houses. Tuafi Shakombabi is a public relations officer at the National Housing Enterprise, the government authority tasked with providing housing for low and middle income earners. The organization has been accused of failing in its mandate because it has built just over a thousand homes since 2018. The first one is lack of financing and lack of serviced land. Uh, we are actually in, 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 in planning or to approach um, banks and private financiers to really just help us or get funding so we can actually deliver on our mandate. With regards to a lack of service land, uh, we are also in touch with the local authorities to buy or to gain uh, um, service land. Yes, you might argue and say there's so much, there's so much land in Namibia. You might, you know, it's something that we all see, but the lack of service land is what we are faced with. Namibia is amongst the countries with the highest inequality in the world, second only to South Africa. And it's seen in the housing crisis, where almost half the capital city's population cannot afford decent housing and live in shacks. Vitalio Angula, Africa Matters, Bintuk, Namibia.